it wasn't very long ago when there were no side-by-sides out here. And this was maybe only about, oh, less than 10 years ago. Our first ones were uh, Player 700s. We graduated into these 800s in 2012. Uh, we've got actually four of them here on the place now, all 800s. Um, this one in particular has um, nearly 3,000 hours on it, about 20,000 miles. They do uh, require some repairs, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, engines have been pretty good. They go, they, I mean, I've got one that still has, it hasn't been broke into. It's still on the original cylinder and bore, and uh, the rest have had overhauls for various reasons, but... What I wanted to talk to you guys about was some guys say they aren't justifiable. And I guess I would say if you can replace a ranch pickup, replace a horse, and replace your four wheeler, get more done in a day, and do it on a machine that is smooth riding, won't buck you off, doesn't require feed when you're not using it, you can stay warm in the winter, you can calve out of this catch calves, fence, put out mineral, move move cattle. Um, they have a million uses. I mean, we build all our fence with these when we build fence. I have pockets in the back back here where I can put on a wire roller, roll out a roll of barb. I grain calves with this every morning. Uh, granted, this is a mess at the moment because I haven't cleaned it in a while, but I even have a small toolbox on it carry all my supplies for thawing out water tanks in the winter if I need to. I mean, uh, put a light on the back so when I'm sledding a calf in at night, I have a light to do that with. Put some good lights up on the roof here. Um, winch on the front if I want to stretch some wire up or stretch up some woven or whatever. But guys, these are not free to own. Now, if you trade these every two years, like most guys do when they hit 5,000 miles, yes, it can be very expensive. But even then, how, when pickups are $50,000, horses or whatever horses are, and a horse is no guarantee that it's going to last, how can you uh, not justify owning one of these? I just don't understand that. I mean, okay, you can't rope out of it, but... If you're in the business of ranching and you're trying to make your living roping stock, you're probably not in it for the same reasons I am. So, um, you can work all day in one of these, move your cows, put your mineral out on the same trip, and go around the fence when you're done. What used to take days or a whole day to do, we now do in the morning. And what it's actually done is really increased our production in what we get done in a day. We manage our our ranch better, manage our livestock better. Um, we never lose anything anymore because you couldn't find it or you ran out of daylight or you couldn't get stock out or in close to home before a storm. We don't have that problem anymore. We don't lose stock because we ran out of time or because we couldn't find it. And when you talk about brands, they've all come a long way. Polaris still kind of has the lead in my mind. They have the best cabs. They're, they have the most dealers. The parts are the cheapest if you need parts. Reliability is so-so. I mean, they're still on the upper end, but they do have some issues. And, I'm, and granted, the newer ones are better than what I'm, what I'm showing you here. They've, they've made some improvements, but they're not without their faults. And that's actually why, I mean, we have three of these that run full-time. We have uh, another one here as a spare for when one of these goes down. And I've actually got to where I carry some parts on hand for what I know tends to go bad. Um, another aspect of these is the low amount of imprint to the ground. I mean, a pickup, you drive that out on a day like today with all the moisture and water. You're leaving ruts and tracks in the pasture that you're probably going to see the rest of the year. You just don't have that with these. They don't weigh enough. Um, you can carry a person with you. I mean, very often I take my kids with me or my wife with me when we move stock, which I used to do, you know, when I was a kid with my dad on a horse. And that wasn't always easy or fun. Most of the time it was freezing to death. I mean, it's just 
they're the thing we've been waiting for for a long time. And if I could perfect these, I would just ask for whoever's building them to put some more reliability into them, some longevity, better warranties, and quit fiddling with the bells and whistles. We don't need that. We need it to work. We needed something that we can depend on and something that doesn't need an oil change every 35 to 50 hours. And even with that, I've done some experimenting and changing my oil brands. I'm going back out to 100 hours per service. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you on these. Um, quick look on the inside. I mean, I just you got some storage under here for tools. I mean, I carry all my wrenches, multimeter. I mean, I'm ready to pretty much do anything. I have a gun in here, uh, two-way radio. And so I can call home, call call my brother, see where we're at, see where we need to go. I've got a little bit of a cow catcher on here, so when the neighbor's black bull gets in, I can run him out. So, I mean, you know how that is, too. I mean, you're trying to chase out a bull that really likes the cows that he's with. Try try doing that on a horse and not getting thrown or getting hurt or run over or run you know tiring your horse out. That's not a lot of fun. Um, with these, you're pretty much in a tank. So that's probably all I want to show you without getting too long winded. Um, if you have questions, feel free to comment. Um, if you'd like to discuss any more of this stuff, uh, there's a good forum out there, SideBySideNation.com, where we discuss all brands of side by sides and. Um, love to talk to you. Thanks.